going to Cork. Do we feel eloquent? That is the question. So this is Cove Port. Welcome to day three of our Disney Magic British Isles seven day cruise. Hope you're all doing well. Today is an exciting day because we are going to Cork in Ireland. I've never been here before. We haven't booked any tours or excursions, but the ship does dock really close to Cork. So we're hoping that we can just easily walk in and I'll show you everything that we do today in case you're interested, in case your ship does come to Cork as well or if you're visiting Cork. Something that I really want to do today is go to Blarney Castle and kiss the Blarney Stone. Yes, I know it's Covid <laughs> but it's just something that's really famous and it's something that my parents did on their honeymoon 50 something years ago. So it's just something I'd like to follow in their footsteps and do today. I just think it'd be so, so cool. Other than that, no plans really. We'll look around Cork itself as well and just enjoy Ireland. This is our only stop at the Republic of Ireland. So yeah, looking forward to seeing it. We are heading to Cabanas now for breakfast. My first course is some cereal. And my next course is going to be a pile of fruit. Oh, there's a few different things this morning. Banana French toast. Wow. Look at the view from Cabanas of Cove. So this is Cove Port. It's spelled C-O-B-H and it's pronounced Cove. And we should be able to get into Cork quite easily from here. So I'll let you know when we get off. But look at these beautiful, all oh, these beautiful different coloured houses. Aren't they stunning? They kind of look Norwegian-ish. So cute. And there's some up here as well. I love it and that beautiful church. It's just magnificent from here. So we just shared the lift with the captain. <laughs> It was very funny. There was an American couple in there as well, quizzing him on the length of the ship and talking about the mechanics of it. So it was really interesting to listen to. So we are getting ready now to leave the ship. It docked a bit later than usual. So we docked at half nine this morning. So it is a little bit later, but the all aboard time is a bit later than yesterday as well. All aboard is five o'clock today. So we should have a full day still in Cork to check it out. We're just coming off the ship at Cove. Lots of buses for the tours, but I think we're going to follow these signs here. Welcome to Cove Heritage Town. We're going to follow that, I think. There's lots of people going that way. So we are coming into the train station. It's a 24 minute train journey to Cork Centre. So that is the train we're going to be getting now. I'll let you know how much the tickets are. The train tickets were €6.90 return to Cork from Cove, which is such a good price. The train comes every 30 minutes and it is on its way now. So the train is coming in right this second and we barely had to walk. <laughs> there is the ship. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> So that was really, really handy. Just got off the train at Cork. The train took 25 minutes from Cove. So it wasn't too bad at all. We got to see quite a lot out the window as well, which is lovely. It's been so easy. The two ports we've got off so far, there's always been people at the port when you get off the ship to help you. And it's just been really, really good. So it's definitely, you're able to do this on your own. You don't have to always get a tour. Maybe you have a tour on some days and some days you do your own thing. So yeah, it's been really easy so far. We're gonna find the bus station now and the bus takes us straight to Blarney Castle. 
we're heading towards the city centre. There's lots of signs like this that we're following. Some beautiful churches as we're coming into the city centre. It's an oldie. Old department sort Yeah. It's amazing. We've just come into the city centre. We're going towards the buses. I just saw this. Isn't that awful? They've got a cone on the statue. Who is it? It's Father Matthew. We're at the statue with the cone on and we've just walked here because this is um, a main bus stop and it is the bus that we're getting today. The 215 and it's coming right now. So here's the 215 and this is the one that goes to Blarney Castle. So when we googled the way it did say Drawbridge Street but actually that was kind of the wrong way so you just need to be at this centre really. So Drawbridge Street was down that road there you can see behind me but this is the main street. Where the statue was, St Patrick Street, that's it, St Patrick Street and we are now top deck heading to Blarney Castle. It was just two euros twenty each single. Yeah, two euros twenty. Cork to Blarney. We just got off the bus here and we're, yeah, it is cute. We're walking towards the castle now, following our map. Right, we're here. So the bus stop just down there. We just walked down here and we're here. Blarney Castle and Gardens. You see a few Disney tour groups already. This is so nice. It must have been an old train station. It says it was a family run platform since 1979. Here's a map. Welcome to Blarney Castle and Gardens. Castle is a 10 minute walk from the entrance. So we're here, I guess. Oh, and it's. Ooh. Oh. I'm a gift of eloquence. Kiss it and it'll give you the gift of eloquence. So, a day ticket is 18 euros. And then you've got kids there, 8 euros. The opening times. Renowned for bestowing the gift of eloquence on all those who kiss the Blarney Stone. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're here now, we just walked through. We've got a little cafe, shop. This garden is beautiful. We've got our tickets and they've given us a little map as well. brian has got it open. Ten minute walk now, you said, to yeah, the castle. To the castle. I bet it's going to be a beautiful walk as well. A stream, and here it is, Blarney Castle. How beautiful. We just saw the sign where two rivers cross. So we've got one river here, and then one river over here. It says it's a rare occurrence that one does not often find a place where one river passes under the other. How interesting. I love that. You're waiting from this point, it's a 60 minute wait. It's quite a line. Hopefully it's not that long. So it looks like that is it. You can just see the railing. You can see two shoes on it. You can see feet. That must be it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are we ready for eloquence and prosperity? Are we ready? <laughs> I can't believe we're lining up to kiss a stone. I can't believe we've paid 18 euros to kiss a stone. <laughs> Actually, we're watching them do it and we can see that after every time that someone kisses it, it's getting cleaned, it's getting disinfected, so that's good. At least we're not going to catch anything. <laughs> right, so someone is, yeah, crawling on their back. I don't know if you can see that. A kiss, a picture, and then the guy that works here, spray, spray, spray. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> and for the next kiss. <laughs> so we're inside now. 
It looks like we've got a queue right up to the top. We're going up a very steep and tight spiral staircase now. These are getting uh, thinner and steeper now, these steps. This is crazy. Feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Finally, coming up to the top. <laughs> Out of that tiny little spiral staircase. <laughs> Low down there. <laughs> oh, we're out. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> okay, that was the. Uh, uh, we can breathe. The gardens here are beautiful. There's a sign here it says remove bags, hats, glasses, anything loose in your pockets. <laughs> This is it, this is the last stretch now. It's right here. You can see someone on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. We're all mad, aren't we? <laughs> just for tradition. We have just walked up lots of stairs. Yeah, we've got to do it now. Yeah. A bit history on our way to the stone. The term Blarney meaning beguiling but misleading talk. Again, coming during the 16th century. It was said to have been the stone used by Jacob as a pillow. They dreamed of a ladder extending up to heaven with angels ascending into Ah, stone. So it kind of is a bit of a pilgrimage. Mm, yeah. We were just saying it's a bit like a pilgrimage, this. <laughs> Another legend as well, turned out to be a witch and in gratitude she told him a certain stone already in his castle that had magic properties that he could benefit by kissing it. And here is the fourth and final legend and then it says at the bottom, whatever its origins, the powers of the Blarney Stone, the Stone of Eloquence are unquestioned. Thank you. There you go. Oh my gosh, there's an actual huge hole. Slide back, slide down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I was doing the Lindo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> That's the weirdest sensation. Not losing that. <laughs> <laughs> I make yeah. 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 I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 That was crazy. That was crazy. I, I actually didn't realise it was that far back. It was like you really had to Absolutely. use your abs. Yeah. Like, it, that was a workout. Yeah. That was difficult. <laughs> that was so good though. Yeah. Give it a good old kiss. Yeah. <laughs> right, do we feel eloquent? That is the question. Um, do you feel any changes? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, let's wait and see. <laughs> let's get down from this castle. Right, I'm putting you away because there's no way I can film going down all these stairs again. <laughs> So the stone itself, it's attached to the main wall, but it's underneath and it's this different colour, mm. so you can just see it, but you really have to bend, really bend backwards. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of, you know, when you were a kid and you used to do those crab walks yeah. where you're on your yeah. back. And then the other thing that surprised me was just how much gap there was between mm -hmm. the floor and the stone. So yeah, it's such a great experience. I'm still buzzing from it. <laughs> Definitely recommend doing that. We are heading back to the bus now, bus number 215 to head back to Cork to head back to the ship. We've spent about two hours here in total. Uh, the queue was about 40 to 45 minutes to the Blarney Stone. It tended to be a lot of um, the tour groups that we were queuing with, um, but so glad I did. It was such a good experience. We're just still talking about how wild it is, um, but we'll head back to the bus. I'll pick you back up when we're back on the ship. We took the bus and train back, it was all very smooth. And we're here now, right back at the ship. We're actually thinking of going to Cabana's for a little bit of lunch. We're coming to Daisy's Delights for a spot of lunch. It's half three, so we've still got a while yet till dinner and we are both feeling a little peckish. So they have salads here and they have sandwiches as well. We've got ham sandwiches, we've got wraps, and then we've got loads of fruit and cookies and then on this side you can get some noodles they've got soups and ramen quinoa noodles there's chili chicken ramen that looks good a couple of 
characters out in the atrium so I'm gonna go and check them out see what they're wearing because I thought maybe they might have some special Irish costumes on they did that in the Meg cruise they had Greek costumes and Italian costumes so I don't know whether they'll have some sort of green St. Paddy's Day would be cool if they have we've got Mickey over there looks like he's doing some fantastic moves then so Mickey over there and then we've got Chippendale down here no special costumes I joined the Mickey queue and it's now Minnie Mouse I don't know what it is about Minnie Mouse on this cruise but I have seen her in every single costume now I have had a picture with her in every costume and I've not really seen any of the other characters so we had her in her sailor outfit we had her last night in the formal wear and that was the only character we met last night and now we've got her in her classic dress someone's upset Chip <laughs> he was on the floor crying <laughs> oh I know why it's because the plush he only had a Dale plush and not a Chip plush that's so cute hi Minnie I got a cute little photo with Minnie and I'm going down the art to see Donald because Donald is about to arrive any minute now here on deck three <laughs> Donald's angry I think Donald's taken over from Chippendale so we've come up to top deck to see us leave I just saw this as well so if you don't know Cove this port we're in right now was the last port of call for Titanic 1912 it was wow Bryony just spotted the Irish flag up here I didn't know they did that that's so cool Aww. They are dropping the ropes. You can just see there that they're dropping the ropes. You can see the bridge here. Look, there's everyone on the bridge. Can you see the captain? Oh yeah, there's a captain. The captain is the third one in from us. Oh, he's, he's just leaving. He's just turned around. That's our captain. Here we go. He's taking it off. Oh, it's a double rope. Double security. <laughs> they just did the Disney horn and they've started the engines now. Off we go. Off we head to Liverpool. Goodbye, Cove. Thank you for a lovely day. and Smee having a meet here. Mm -hmm. We're heading down to Lumiere's now for dinner. We're getting that. Right, we're walking into Lumiere's. Hello. At 34. 34. Lumiere's is so pretty. Look at the roses. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. I love the napkins. It's like a little shirt. <laughs> We've got a porthole here we can look out of. Really nice. Oh, I love the roses and the lights. So the menu for tonight. Appetizers, we've got duck confit, lobster and shrimp, soups. Oh, the bread looks good tonight. We've got lobster pasta, salmon, duck, lamb and steak. This is what my mum had on the Meg cruise and she loved it. Veggie meals. Let's check out what the desserts are. Here we go. Souffle, tarte tatin, creme brulee, strawberry shortcake sundae, and an opera gatto. We both went for the brie. Looks delicious. Look at all that cheese. I've gone for two soups for me because I'm just, I'm a bit full everyone. I'm getting to that point now on the ship where lots of food is being had. So I've got potato leek and I've got French onion soup. Brian has gone for the steak, looks absolutely delicious. I've got Brian Lee's creme brulee, it looks amazing. And I've got the one and only Mickey ice cream. Okay. Well, there's a beautiful sunset out tonight. I don't know if you can see that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very windy. I don't know if you can hear me. Look! Mm -hmm. 
He's made an elephant and he's put Dumbo next to it. Oh, I love it. It's quite cold up here. We're going across the Irish Sea and it's a bit choppy and windy. Um, I'm just grabbing a drink and we're heading to the theatre. There's something called Once Upon a Song on tonight. I think it's going to be a compilation of a load of Disney songs, so that should be really nice. And then after that, there's a show in Fathoms. There's a little quiz show. And then it is 80s trivia, so that should be a really good night. Right, we are in Fathoms now. That show, Once Upon a Song, was absolutely spectacular. We were both in tears at one point. It was so special, and they used songs that weren't the most popular ones in the films. Like on Hunchback, they sang God Help the Outcast. God Help the Outcast, and you'd think it would be out there or something. And then they sang an, an enchanted song, and oh, it was amazing. Yes, Let's Go Fly kind of teared me up. Anything Mary Poppins always makes me tear up. There was a Dumbo song, there was Lady in the Tram, and this jazz section, this whole jazz section. And it wasn't just, I assumed it was like a concert where people would just be singing these songs. There was a full production. Yeah, I'm really glad for that, because that hasn't been on any of the cruises I've done before, so. Right, we are in a show called Pop now. I have no idea what this is gonna be. And then it is 80s music trivia. Let's play a number 10. I hate sweet dreams. Oh, you like that one. That was a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Who sings that? Back here. Urinth. Urinth. Mix. <laughs> It has been another wonderful evening in Fathoms. I've not really been filming the nighttime quizzes, just because I've just been enjoying them, and they're similar to what we did on the Ned cruise. I really hope you enjoyed seeing Cork today. We had such a fun little outing. I really enjoyed going to the Barney Stone. It was just such an experience. And tomorrow we are in Liverpool, so, my home city. I'm so excited to sail into Liverpool. I've set my alarm early because I'm hoping to catch us sailing in and um, because that's just really important to me to see the beautiful Liverpool skyline and hopefully I can capture a little bit of it because it'll just be a dream to come in on the Disney magic to Liverpool. I don't have an excursion booked but I will be going to see my mum and dad will probably go and do some Beatles things and as well uh, there is a special maritime event happening for Her Majesty Queen at two o'clock tomorrow so I will be sure to film that too because that's going to be pretty special. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time in Liverpool. Bye! Make your memories, make your memories, take your pictures, make your memories, make your memories.